Let's go to Fan Four and Summon. You're back with another toy review. So, um, it's a Jurassic World review, but if you read the title, it's not the ones I bought. So today I will be reviewing the uh fudge. What's it called? It's right there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Action Attack Carnotaurist or Toast if you watch Gaming Beaver. So today we went for a surprise thing at Walmart, surprise trip at Walmart, and sadly I didn't record me getting toast. So this was 20 bucks or $19.87. Yeah, I didn't record anything. So let's just take a look at the box. Down here, we have what it is, Action Attack Carnotaurus. We have Owen in blue right here, and it's gimmick. I'm starting off with this because it's in the box, unlike my other ones, so I might as well just do this. Here we have Jurassic World. Jurassic World again. Carno or Toast. Um, I think that's supposed to be his um chomping attack, not him roaring. Down here we have Stego, Baryonyx, and Trike. I saw Baryonyx there, but I wanted Toast more. I didn't see Stego though. I didn't see Stego. Here, sadly, I didn't see it after I bought it, but there the box was kind of messed up here. But again, Jurassic World. Also, I forgot to mention in the back, Volcanic Eruption. So, yeah. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to have a cut. It's still going to be in the box, because I'm going to make you guys watch me unbox this. But you're going to have a cut right now, because i got to get a picture for the thumbnail. Yeah, thumbnail life, baby. Okay, so I'll be right back. Yeah. I have a bad stand for my phone. I just dropped my scissors. No. Okay. Yeah, I have a bad stand for my phone. It's not big, so this is the best you're going to get of Carno or Toast unboxing. So we have strings right there, right there, right there. If I could get it, there. Wait, no. Okay, there. We have a string on the foot. Little feet sees. Come on. There we go. There. And oh, I think that's it. He just fell out. He's like, I'm free. Okay, here's here he is. Holy crap. Mattel literally murdered Hasbro. If they didn't give away Hasbro, if they if Hasbro didn't lose the license, I don't know what we'll be getting right now. Definitely not this kind of quality. Holy crap. Sorry for the camera angle. I was just looking at it for myself. Wow, this looks amazing. And again, like all the other toys, no bullet holes! Okay. So, starting with the detail, it's... To be honest, it kind of does remind me of the Disney Dinosaur movie. Disney Dinosaur movie, yeah. So, yeah, with the red. Okay, back to the details. Here, we have red. We have, like, red skin. And it also has, like, a little bumps. Little, little, I don't know what they call this in dinosaurs. Like, little bumps. So, we have red. Then, from the tail. Moving upward, we start getting some bl black on the back black on the back and with some little speckles around here and again you could see the sculpting it looks amazing as always then have um, black going up the neck or like blackish brown actually not black at all then in the face we have the two horns up here then we have it going down here his eyes are just black and yellow i think that is black and orange i don't know we have some red right here his teeth if i could can i open the mouth forcefully with without the mechanism oops don't fall i don't think i can oh oh there we go sorry for my finger but the teeth are individual individually unpainted the casserole looks like a big glob uh oh there we go much easier there's the tongue inside there. Yeah, there's tongue. Looks red, but it's actually pink in real life. Here's the um, jaw muscle. I think that's what it's called. Then on the underbelly, we have white going down. 
and again with the amazing sculpt. Then here, let's go back to re going back to red. There's the um thingy. So I'm gonna leave it here for you guys to scan it on the Jurassic World app. Okay, you got it. Okay, good. Moving on. Inside the legs, we have red. On the outside, we have little um specks. Well, not little specks, like. Yeah, I guess you could say that of the brownish black thing. Of the brownish black. So yeah, that's it for the sculpt and paint apps. Or basically just details. Come on, focus. Okay, well, stop it! <laughs> okay, so time for the articulation. Okay, for articulation. Starting with the tail, um, it can move up, it can move down that way. It could turn left to right, side to side, like just moving around. Um, I think, yeah, it could turn. And then with the legs, which I love what Mattel did, is... Woo! They can move in and outwards. Um, they can move all the way around. Yeah, well, okay, both of them can. Um, his tiny little arms over here could move that way, that way. And then, no, they can't move outward and inward. And then, for the rest of the articulation, it's not going to be some. If you guys don't know, but I don't know, like, it's been living under a rock. There's a button on its back to activate its chomping action. I think it's chomp. I think it's chomping. Hold on, I'm going to pick up the camera for this. So there's the chomping action of the Carno. So yeah, time to do some size comparisons. Here's the Carnotaurus next to act, um, Battle Damage Blue. Here's Carnotaurus next to the Roarvores Triceratops. Carno next to Owen and Baby Blue. So this, again, like Mattel said, all the dinosaurs and humans would be in scale with each other. So this is how big Carno would be next to Owen or a human in general. Baby Blue over there is tiny. Finally, here's Carno next to the Indoraptor in Indoraptor's crawling form. In the next cut, you'll see him in his standing form. And here is standing Indoraptor next to Carno or Toast. So, as we see here, Indoraptor is going to be really, really big. Because if they go in scale, a little spoiler for the Indoraptor review. Look at how small Owen is compared to the Indoraptor. So if that's how big Indoraptor is going to be in the movie, he's huge. He could take on a freaking Carno. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Yeah, for this scene, I'm actually just holding down the button. Oh crap, no, I messed it up. There you go. No! Yeah, I'm just holding down the button for it. So if you guys enjoyed, yeah, like I said, leave a like, comment. Um, what you want me to review next, what you want me to buy next, don't say Thrash and Throw, because that's probably not going to happen in a while. And yeah, just subscribe. I finally hit 200 subscribers, so I don't know what I'm going to do for a special yet, so just stay tuned for that. So anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye!